What's up guys, in this IC video, I'm going to be talking about the grind for the 1911 and Cold War Zombies. Like the last video, this is going to be short and to the point. So welcome back to another episode of Dark Ether. Let's get in. For those who are new, let's give you the rundown of how zombies work. Killing zombies will earn you points and sometimes they will drop salvage or rare salvage with the addition of equipment. With the points, you can buy pack of punches, ammo mods, and other guns. With salvage and rare salvage, you can buy and replenish armor, buy oak gun tiers, and buy score streets and equipment at crafting tables. Now understand, going in with a custom gun with attachments is always the best option. Some attachments have a tag saying increase salvage drop. The more tags that say this, the better. Now, for the attachments that I use on the 1911. Firstly, on the muzzle, I use flash guard .45 APC. Using this attachment will increase the random drop rate. That's right, free syntax, frags, stems, stuns, and much, much more. Secondly, for the barrel, I use the 6.53 inch task force. Using this attachment increases damage, effective damage range, and bullet velocity. Unfortunately, it decreases max starting ammo, vertical recoil, and horizontal recoil. Thirdly, on the body, I use Ember Sighting Point. This increased the salvage drop rate and hip fire accuracy, but decreased sprint to fire time and ABS time. Fourth, fourth one. For the magazine, I use a Salvo 14 Fast Mag, which of course, the increased mag size, reload speed, max starting ammo, and ammo capacity. With the only downside, was a decrease in ADS time. Now, lastly, I use airborne elastic wrap on the handle. The ADS time is increased along with aim while going prone and flinch resistance. The downside is decreased shooting move speed and sprint to fire time. Now, of course, if you watched last episode, if you haven't watched that episode, go watch it. I don't like using dual wheel, but if you do, to maximize damage output, replace an attachment with dual wheel. Any attachment you feel that it's better for you, uh, or you feel like you don't need, you can replace with dual wheel. Now, in terms of the ammo mod I use primarily, I use the frost, fully maxed. With this being fully maxed, I can effectively freeze a large portion of a train at once to easily get headshots. For my field upgrade, I used either Toxic Growth or Ring of Fire. Toxic helps with a lot, a lot with slowing the train down for headshots, and the Ring of Fire for any project, project I'm sorry, projectiles from any bosses along with increased damage. Another good um, field upgrade will be Tesla. Tesla is also good in clutch moments. We need to revive someone and you need all zombies to pretty much stop around you. Only problem with Tesla is that when it's also yet again in the clutch moment, Zombies kind of stay uh, where they are, and this can sometimes lead to you getting trapped and into a corner or what have you. But did you know what's really damaging? Not watching my videos or sharing. It's a fact. Watching my videos boosts your happiness and helps defeat your crippling depression. <laughs> okay. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the series so far. But remember to stay icy and always improve in what you do. Deuces.